r slash adulting. Certified down bad boys says. Managed to completely ruin my life. M24 male, sitting here watching the sunrise, absolutely hungover with $20 to my name, lost my debit card, 30k in debt, terrible boyfriend, awful spending habits, useless employee and complaining about a, frick, ed up situation, that I put myself in. I honestly don't even know why I'm posting, I just needed to type this out somewhere so it's, not just eating at me in my head. I'm having repeating thoughts of self-deprecation like never before, and I just need some advice on what to do. Not necessarily suicidal, but the thought comes up as a solution. I love life, when things are great, so I don't want to end it early. I have a full-time job, making the most money I've ever made before this year, while managing to be the broadcast I've ever been in my entire life too. It's sales so not consistent paychecks. I spend money on stupid shit like clothes, shoes, fasa book marketplace eating out constantly etc. I have a flight in 2 hours, and can barely even afford the Uber to get there. It's all starting to wear on me now. I don't know who to talk to about this as I've managed to hide this from everyone I know. I'm scared. I can barely pay rent. I can't afford credit card payments. I don't know what the hell I'm going to eat. I can go on for hours, but you get what I'm saying. Honestly I just love to hear some relatable stories, I'm at a very low point feeling alone, and I just want to hear it's going to be okay. I know I need to quit, frick, I'm around and get my shit together, but I don't know where to go. Thanks in advance for even just reading this, and if you can give advice, don't hold back I need someone to give it to me straight. Too long, didn't read, anxiety is kicking my ass, my life feels like it's derailing emotionally and financially. Need help. Edit, I don't have a terrible boyfriend, I'm the terrible boyfriend to an amazing girlfriend that I'm surprised, has put up with me for 3 years. Update, been getting some great advice and I appreciate everyone commenting keeping it real as well as the ones handing out positivity. I'm on the plane now, and will continue going through the rest when I land. I've got a lot of thinking, and work do, and you all are making it easier for me to start and think I can make a change. Thank you all so much. Time Constant 963 says. You stated you spend money on stupid things. Start there. When I was broke, I was eating sandwiches at home. I used to be a sneaker guy when younger, until I realized how much I was spending on them. Stop hanging with people who spend money on said stupid things and work on changing your habits. Certified down bad boys says. Biggest thing I've noticed, is the being around people with certain spending habits is more contagious than I'd like to admit. At the end of the day though I'm the one swiping the card, so I need to take the responsibility. Jeshua E says. Doesn't sound so unusual most PPL pretend their life rocks when it sucks. The Arthur Angle 2 says. WTF. Dollar sign 30k in debt, and spending money on random shit doesn't sound unusual. Take the bus to the airport instead of a new belol. This isn't normal. Don't mean to be a dick, but up you're making some terrible decisions and you need to get that under control. Quit blowing money, until you pay off that dollar sign 30k in debt, unless it's student loan debt, then whatever. A dub 87 says. Not drinking will help. It strains your money, leads to bad decisions, and it's a depressant. Gully Wax says. I was at the same place at your age. I was honestly afraid to pick up my phone, because I knew it would be some place talking about the money I owed. I had a crappy boyfriend, but then he left me, which as much as he sucked that made me feel worse. I'm not saying everyone can do it, but I did get past it, and have now been debt free for years, not counting my mortgage. I had to live with someone, split the bills, stop spending all my money on going out and drinking, stop buying stupid things I didn't need. You know you have to do the same. Retail therapy feels good in the moment but it just digs us in further. It isn't easy, and it's not easy to change overnight. 
It's going to sound nerdy, but put together a spreadsheet on what you need to live. Have a tab for what you need to pay off. Another tab can be for the little savings you may be able to start. One thing that has kept me in check was seeing that O balance go to zero and the savings balance grow enough over time to buy a home which was something I didn't expect I could do when I was in all that debt. Euphoric Deer 4787 says. Sounds like a lot of stuff you can change, stop drinking cancel debit card and get a new one start saving and stop spending foolishly be a better boyfriend, at least you have a gf, work harder at work and be a better employee start chipping away at debt exercise daily start slow, if all that seems too much. As you do more and more you will feel better and better about yourself. Do not expect perfection, but just try your best. When I'm willing to do the right thing I'm rewarded with an inner peace when I'm unwilling to do the right thing I'm restless, irritable, and discontent. It is always my choice. If you do all this, and your mood doesn't get better go see a mental health professional. Can't too big says. Contact a credit counseling service. They will consolidate your debts, and make it easier to pay them off. The next step is some harsh self-discipline, start living within your means. If you want tips, ask anybody you know who is in college or university on how to save pennies here and there. Finally, realize that it will get better. I was a single father when I was your age. Now I'm happily married with a stable job and manageable finances. It will get better, don't give up. Spiritual Bet 3159 says. I'm in the same boat, but older. 31, 35k in credit card and student loan debt plus an additional 30k plus INTEREST on a car I'm purchasing. And to top it all off I suffer from abandonment issues and hard insecurities, that I self-sabotaged my relationship with my fiancé slash mother of my two-year-old daughter. Now I'm having to find my own place to live, and can't even afford it. Literally. I had to find another job, took me over a month, to find an entry level position somewhere and all I'm gonna make from that is enough to pay rent, not even utilities. Added to I'm gonna be working 6 to 7 days a week and hardly have time for my daughter. I thought about ending it, so many times over the last month, but I need to make it out. For my daughter, but also for me. I'm going to therapy now clamping down on my spending and trying to practice self-love and self-compassion hoping it'll shift my perspective in different ways that maybe I can rekindle my relationship with my daughter's mom and also be more confident in myself. To be secure and make better choices for myself rather than causing self-harm through impulsive actions that give me an immediate high slash comfort but is ultimately a bad thing. R slash adulting. Ilaxalel says. Sup, take your vitamins. Was chronically fatigued for most of my life, just always exhausted. Started taking 4000 IU of vitamin D per day and suddenly life seems rather manageable. I actually have the energy to make it through the day. Barrison Berry says. Also B12 and iron supplements for those with regular periods. Helps so much. CILS 108 says. Complex B vitamins help me defeat depression. Mznympho says. To the contrary, annual labs that screen for these sorts of things. You'd hate to find your excess vitamin D consumption contributes to hypercalcemia, or any number of other issues from excessive vitamin intake, when the body isn't able to sufficiently rid them. Savings Vermicelli 39 says. We are Flinnerstone's kids. 10,000 strong and growing. Snoob is 6505 says. Vitamin D, B12, magnesium glycinate occasional zinc, regularly intaking fiber, greens, and proteins. What also greatly helped was completely eliminating soda out of my diet and controlling sugar and junk foods. Little less caffeine too. A live sorb at 9870 says. It's amazing how something as simple as a vitamin can turn your day around and boost your energy. Goofy Guaya says. Health and nutrition is serious. 
Headrag1440 says. I take a women's multivitamin, 5000 IU of vitamin D, and hair, skin, and male vitamins every day. If I slack on them for multiple days, I get sluggish, and can feel the difference. MDF87 says. I do, unfortunately it does nothing for my energy levels. Grager Master 77 says. That's right. I appreciate the reminder. Fun Mud 2100 says. I also struggle with fatigue gonna try this, and see if it helps thanks. Buckleo 23 says. Isn't 4000 the absolute maximum a body can process in a day? I have to take high levels of vitamin D due to an immune disorder, but only take 3000 with a lot of the other vitamin D coming from other sources. You'd be surprised at how many food items are fortified with extra vitamins, which can quite easily push the amount up significantly. Whilst getting enough vitamins is essential, there are also negative factors in taking too much, please be careful. Stevie052096 says. I take vitamins B6, B12, C, and D. I also take magnesium every day. I honestly don't notice a difference if I don't take them, but I keep taking them anyways. I have been for like 4 years now. What it says. Do you spend extremely little time out in the sun? Red Light RCH3 says. Don't neglect your iron levels. Riyari says. 4000? In Pain 870 says. For the B vitamins it's important to take methylated B vitamins it's suggested that 30% have a MTHFR gene mutation and able to process other forms only B vitamins and stay away from cyanocobalamin version of B12. The Grim Trigger says. A large meter analysis recently showed that people taking a multivitamin daily had a slightly higher risk of all cause mortality. Smokfast says. Sup, don't waste your money on vitamins, unless you have an actual deficiency diagnosed by a doctor. Anything you take, that the body doesn't need, will get filtered through your kidneys, and you'll pee it out, and do nothing. Other vitamins can make you sick, if you take too much. You get what you need from food most of the time. This is really bad advice. Unicoli available says. So true. I have a friend who has chronic fatigue, and I'm always like, are you sure it's not a vitamin deficiency? And that always makes them mad which is ironic. Vitamins have a measurably positive effect on my day. And I'm sure everyone has their own favorites. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.